Hi, welcome to Car TV. My name is Neil Scheider, and today I'm going to show you my take on a Carbonero. So first things first today, I want you guys to get a nice pot of water rolling to a boil. And then what we're gonna do afterwards, once it comes up to a simmer, we're gonna just add a little bit of salt to season the pasta water. So traditionally with a carbonara, you wanna use a guanciale or a pancetta. But uh, since we're in Canada, we're gonna use a maple smoked bacon today. So we wanna cut the bacon into a lardon shape, which is kind of just a small little rectangle. Doesn't need to be perfect by any means. We just want to get nice crispy flakes of bacon or pancetta or guanciale, whatever you choose to use. We're just going to add them to our pan here. So once we've added our bacon to the pan, we just want to have it on a medium high heat and we just want to cook it until they're almost done, just a little crispy on the edges. We're just going to remove it from the pan and place it onto a nicely uh, papered or uh, whatever kind of tray you have to absorb that extra excess fat. And then before we throw away all of the fat, we're going to reserve probably about an ounce of the fat, maybe two tablespoons of the fat. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make our egg mixture. What we'll do is we'll start by separating two eggs and we're just going to hold on to the yolks not super super important if there's a little bit of egg white in there we are going to be using some whole eggs as well all right so now that we've separated our yolks we're just gonna crack two whole eggs okay and then we're gonna put them aside I've gone ahead and I've microplaned about two thirds of a cup total of uh, half Pecorino Romano and half Parmesan. So the next step is we're gonna add our whole eggs, our egg yolks, our cheese, and a very, very generous amount of black pepper. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna whisk that together. And we're gonna make kind of like a paste almost like a, like a savory custard. We're just going to put that to the side along with our bacon. So now that we have our pasta water coming up to a simmer, we're just gonna gently season it with some salt. Today I chose spaghetti. It's more of a traditional noodle to use for carbonara, but there are many options you can use. Um, you know, you can use linguine, you can use fettuccine. All right, so now that you've portioned your spaghetti, we're just going to add it right into the pasta bath. We really want to make sure that uh, with this pasta, we're not going past al dente. We actually want to pull the pasta a little bit before. Al dente means to the bite. So uh, we want to make sure that we're finishing the carbonara actually in the pan with the sauce and everything, okay? Now that I've got my uh, bacon or guanciale pan drained of its oil, I've put about an ounce of it to the side. I've got my bacon also to the side. We're actually just going to reincorporate the bacon. And again, probably about a tablespoon of the bacon fat. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to take probably about two ounces of the pasta water itself. Actually, we'll, we'll go three ounces here. Okay. And then we're going to just gently heat that back up. Okay, and then once we have that simmering, we're just gonna add our pasta. Again, we wanna make sure that we're just a little bit undercooked because we're gonna finish it in our pan here. All right, so now that we have the spaghetti in the pan, we just wanna finish the cooking over here. Now, while that's finishing cooking, we're just gonna make sure that we've reincorporated our egg mixture. So now that we have the pasta in the, in the sauce, we want to make sure that we're reducing it down to au sec. Now au sec means it's almost dry. We want to make sure that we're really reducing that water all the way down. So now that your pasta has been cooked and you're almost there, what we want to do is just kill the heat, okay? 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that residual heat to cook our egg mixture. Now with a spatula, we're just gonna be constantly mixing and slowly and surely, it'll start to bind and tighten up. The goal here is to really not curl the eggs. You don't want a scrambled egg. You want it to really just coat the noodle, okay? All right, so now that you've got your pasta cooked off, we're just gonna do a quick plating. And then we're just gonna finish it with just a little bit of chopped parsley here. And if you really, really love some cheese, we can microplane a little bit extra over top, no problem. Thanks for tuning in to CAR TV. I'm Neil Schneider, and this is my take on a carbonara.